I wanna show you exactly how you can create a scan using Matterport and how this is gonna benefit you and your clients to make sure that their listings are looking their best and they can sell faster. You're gonna need a couple things to start off with. The first thing is a 3D camera. There are so many different options. I have the Ryko Theta Z1. This one is good, I like it. Um, I've also started off with the Insta360. That one was a pretty good one. But like I said, there are so many options. Do your research before purchasing one because this is very important. The next thing you're gonna need is a tripod. Any sort of tripod that's gonna screw into this little part right here. Um, they're really cheap on Amazon. I got one on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Um, the next thing you're gonna need is your phone, any sort of phone because you need to connect to an app to Bluetooth connect to the camera and also the Matterport app. The two apps that you're gonna need to get, if you specifically have the camera that I have, it is the Ryko 360 app. If you have an Insta360, you might have to get that app as well. Like I said, it's literally just to connect the two together. The next app you're gonna need is gonna be the Matterport app. And that's just how you're gonna scan the property with the camera while it's connected. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And you wanna make sure that you see something light up just like this. You're gonna see some numbers, the battery percentage. Um, the most important thing though is the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. So you'll see right here, the Wi-Fi is trying to connect to something. So that's how we're gonna get into the app and connect it. Okay, I'm officially connected. You can see that you're connected if you see the stable Wi-Fi lines right over here. They're not blinking anymore. So we are good to head into the Matterport app now. So right when you get the app, you can see that there are a couple little tutorials on different tips. Um, for example, like planning out your route, um, turning on all the lights, moving some sort of objects, turning off the fans, making sure that pets are not in the way. And something really helpful as well is make sure that you open up all the doors in the space um, just so you can maintain that site in between the, in between the scans. And then we can go ahead and capture our space. Zillow and Matterport are similar, but also different in the way that you're actually scanning it with the tripod and the camera. With Zillow, you can literally just like put it right inside of a room and scan the whole room and you're done. Whereas Matterport, you kind of have to take the tripod, take a couple steps, take a photo, take a couple steps, take a photo. So it's definitely a little bit more time consuming. And I think that's why we as photographers can charge a little bit extra. So now that we're connected, we're gonna get this on my tripod and we're gonna go ahead and start from downstairs. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and press new job and put in the address. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and start downstairs by the front door and work our way through. This house has a lot of stairs around it, so that's what's gonna make it a little bit longer. You have to scan on like every other step just so it doesn't miss out on anything. So I'll show you exactly how I would do that. All right, I'm gonna start right down here. I'm gonna go hide upstairs and I'll show you what it's gonna look like. The scans take a little bit longer for Matterport, um, but I'll show you what the end result would look like. So this is what it looks like. You can go ahead and press on it and look at it and you can preview it. So right there, all of that looks great. And then I think we're gonna go do the downstairs before we do the upstairs. I'm just gonna move the tripod from there to the edge of the stairs right there. So I'm just gonna be going throughout the whole house and make sure that on each of the staircases, I either skip one or two steps on there just so that everything is gonna be neat and look exactly like the house. So when you're scanning any home, there are a few things that make your life so much easier when you're doing it. The first one is to keep your tripod about three to five steps apart. That overlap is what helps the software stitch everything together cleanly. I also keep my camera height consistent. I never change the height actually of it. I always keep it right around eye level or a little bit above so the walkthrough feels natural and it's not like jumping up and down. One thing you have to remember when you're scanning is remember to switch the floors. The second you get to the upstairs level you have to go into the app and change the floor level right away because if you forget and you keep scanning Matterport is going to think that it's all on the same floor and you'll end up having to delete every single scan that you just did. I made that mistake early on and trust me it is such a pain to redo everything. So switch floors immediately and save yourself the headache.
All right, the scan is complete. So we have floor one, floor two, and floor three. So in total, we have 42 scans. So that's a lot more than you would get when you're doing like a Zillow listing. So it did take a little bit more time to do this one. We can't upload this just yet because there are a couple things that we need to do. We need to add in the windows and add in the mirrors. Sometimes this takes maybe like 10, 15 minutes to do. And then after that, you can go ahead and upload. When we add in the windows and the mirrors, I'm gonna show you. So we'll start just from number one, our scan number one. And over here, this was the, um, the front door and a couple of the windows. So right over here, we're gonna press on this little line and those are windows. So we're gonna add a window. So right over here, this is the inside and I'm just going to align it where the front door and those windows were. I don't believe there were any other windows or mirrors down here, so we can go ahead and go back and it's automatically gonna save it. Now we'll move on to floor number two. Floor number two, so over here, this was the stairs, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on number 12. You can tap on it and see exactly where it was. Um, I'm gonna move on to number 13. Number 13, we had some windows over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and press this again. We're gonna add a window. Move it right there, that's on the inside. And then this was just the kitchen. And over here, there were three windows. So I'm gonna add some more. Add a window right here. Add another window. And add another one. Perfect, and then in this bathroom, we're gonna tap on mirror. Add a mirror. And right here it says the front of the mirror. So that's pretty easy just to tell. And then the laundry room had a window. Good, and that's it for floor number two. And we'll move on to floor number three now. Over here on scan number 27, there was a window. So we'll just add one. And there were some other windows in this bedroom. More windows over here a mirror in the bathroom. So once you kind of get used to it, once you kind of know exactly what you're doing, it goes by a lot quicker. Okay, and now we are done. We can go ahead and upload it. And when you upload it, it's gonna tell you how many scans that you have. It's gonna confirm your email. And then from there, you should be able to get your scan. Offering Matterport tours are so helpful for not only you, but your agent. And my business, I would probably charge around like 250 for the service, just because it takes some time the equipment is a little bit expensive, but you gain it all back just by doing like a few of these tours. Um, so it's a really great service for your agent and they can use this right on Matterport. They can put it on Zillow as well. So all around it's helpful for everyone. If you're interested in learning more about these types of things that you can do in your real estate media business, you can look on this channel. There's so many other videos on how to actually build your business and different tips and tricks just like that. And if you're interested in getting into coaching, if you already have a real estate media business, or maybe you just wanna start one, we offer coaching to everyone and you can actually apply in the link below in the description. I'll put that in there and get to know some of the students around the world who are doing the exact same thing as you.